Hello there. Welcome to a Tyke Farming in the Philippines. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, ding a ling ding dong, the bell. It's Monday morning with three men on site. Soy's working on the gestation pens. And Wynn and Ramil are continuing work on the roadway. So, as usual, I'll make a couple of videos throughout the day and we'll get back to you shortly. So, what we've done this morning, um, Wynn and Ramel have been getting rid of all these tree stumps, quite a lot of them. And digging the roots out. There's a few of the tree stumps. I think them two are, are we out of the way. And there's still left two left to dig out. Very warm again today. Uh, they didn't have any shade cloth that one this buggered, so I've got two more sheets of shade cloth for them. We shall pull up this afternoon and then they're on to digging. There'll be a fair bit of digging at this end. We've got to come up a couple of feet. And then there won't be so much digging as they go along, hopefully. Now what I've been doing this morning is uh, sorting out the horse pipes. Um, we had the pressure washer over there, which is fine for washing the friends out, but we were washing the channel out with just a hose pipe, and the amount of muck we're getting now, and the size of the stools, it was taking 10 or 15 minutes to uh, wash out the channel. So I've sorted it out. Still just temporary, I'll, I'll put a better system in eventually. I'll put a stopcock on the hose pipe, and then that gun at the end is just a water hose, so I can take that off and plug in the pressure washer, and the pressure washer washes it out in five minutes flat. They made a little hole type of thing to scrape the muck along the channels, but it was taking, oh, maybe half an hour. So we've got that organised, eventually I'll have the pressure washer at that end on the right hand side post in the middle, I'll run a separate water line to it from the tank so it's not going through this um, pump and it will just go direct to the pressure washer and I'll put three pipes onto a fit in there. So you can turn the switch and put water to this side, water to the middle, or water to that side. Um, and that'll be a permanent job. At the moment we'll have to put the pressure washer there, carry it there, and then carry it to, to here, to pressure washer there, outside. If that makes sense. So I'll leave this video there and do another one this evening.
small problem we've got. We're preparing the, today to lay concrete tomorrow. And we'll go and have a look, see what soil has been done. It's just approaching 3 o'clock, so we're halfway through the afternoon. All the troughs are finished. Looking good. And the pigs are looking for feed as usual. leave this video there and I'll do a closing video this evening. Cholo's on a chain because she he tries to get out and chase after the motorbikes when they go home. It's five o'clock so to make a concluding video we shut it up and there's uh, dug some st stumps out, the one left there to dig out in the morning <coughs> and they clear up to here <coughs> so tomorrow they'll dig that stump out they'll lay Rio bar up to the end of here and then in the afternoon they'll lay the concrete on it so maybe three meters of concrete going down tomorrow I've more They'll run out of gravel tomorrow, he tells me. So I've ordered more sand and gravel. Probably come tomorrow, maybe the day after. So we're going on with it there. That's fairly level, but when we get to this end, they're going to have to dig some of this out. So by the end of the week, this roadway will be finished. What we Monday today, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday at the latest. And then maybe Saturday we'll get onto this concrete here. Yeah. So I'll go and feed the pigs. Because Jean's gone up to her mother's with Wynne. It's her youngest niece's birthday today. So I'll get me well he's on. So as I showed in the last video I think all the troughs are finished. Uh soy's given me an order for pipe and fittings. It'll be bringing the water from on over there. I don't know if you can see on camera from the last ten there. We'll be bringing the water and then through this hole, through the wall, and it's starting to dig out a channel where the pipe will fit in. Then it'll come up along to the front of the pens and then it'll be fitted around here a drinking nipple to each pen. Uh, so he'll be, be on with that tomorrow. So I'll feed the pigs. The pigs are doing a lot better feed-wise. They'll be on 15 kilos today. Uh, when I left, they were dropping down to, I think the lowest was four, and they were around six or seven kilos. Um... So that tells its own story in a fortnight, ten days. They're doing a lot, a lot better. So I'll feed them and I'll get back to you shortly. So there we are. Pigs are fed. 
all quiet. And the three smaller ones, not so small now. They'll be all going back into one pen shortly. Um, the new pig technician has, is lining us up with another 18 piglets. So these three pens will be full. So we'll get these three back with the, the mates who they came with. And after the roadway, we'll start on the gutter for these pens. So we've got a bit more room. Um, so that's the next job. And then for soy, the next job will be a farrowing crate, wherever we decide to put it. We'll probably have to, well, we will have two harrowing crates. Um, not quite sure what else we'll do in there yet. And then after that, we'll go on to the holding tank for the water down the bottom. Because we're having to top up with the well pump. And I think maybe if we, well, if we build a big enough tank for sure, but maybe if we build a, 10,000 litre tank down there will be more, uh, more or less self-sufficient on rainwater and only need to use a well pump in a very dry spell. So I'll leave this video there and we'll make another one tomorrow.